It's the takeover with T Roy and DJ Q45. Q45, boo. Turn the lights on. We don't ride nope. out. So good. We I want to put a long on it. Long on it. Like baby food. We got five. Five. Hey, man, first and foremost, before I even get into any of this, what's up? Where the hell you been at, man? Hey, man. Trying to make sure this thing right, man. I mean, cuz, I mean, it, it just it just don't feel right without hearing plies. I mean, like, we play a throwback joint of Shorty. Mm -hmm. And I'd and I be like, man. I'm in the video for that. I'd be like, man, yeah, I man. wish Ply was in the <laughs> in, in the building, back on the scene. What, what's going on with you, bro? Good, man. I feel anytime you, you know, you want the same results, then you should do the same things. Um, yeah. For me, I'm just at that point, not going into my fifth album, man. I want to. I want to do things that I ain't done before. I want to be a bigger artist than I'd ever been. So it was easy for me to continue to do the same things again and stay, you know, and be that gold artist. But I think for me it was, you know, it was important to take time, man, to really try to perfect my craft. And I feel like now I'm on the right, I'm going in the right direction when it comes to that. Like I came in the game standing for my peoples and giving it to you from um, our point of view. So I don't want to deviate from that, man. And I think I'm back making those records that, um, hits in your chest and I like to call it ride around music as opposed to the records that's just in the club and once you leave out the club you can't ride around and listen to that all day so you know it's just about refocusing myself man and making sure I'm good and doing the right things that when this Purple Heart album come out all the dots get connected. Now look with these two years just sitting back probably remaking music, restudying, mm -hmm. uh, counting money and uh, doing things what what else have you noticed which changed in the game? Cause you know when you came, to, when you merged on the scene, mm -hmm. dog, you really took Florida by a storm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The goons and everything was really big. Right. You, you branded that. I think substance music ain't gonna never lead over, bro. Like, yeah, that's that's the difference. Like I think the whole the different phases and the different genres of music they change and they shift a little bit. But anytime, anytime any artists make that content music, you making music that's in people in the chest and people can relate to it on a day to day basis. There's always gonna be room for that music. Um, you know, for me, I always had a challenge of the label trying to tell me, you know, make this kind of music right here. If, if you decide to make this kind of music over here, you know, that can be the difference in, you know, another 500,000 records being sold. But I ain't going to sacrifice myself when it comes to that if it's not what I really want to stand on and what I believe. So for me, it's a tug of war type of thing. But at the end of the day, man, I got to stand for my people. And that's what I'm trying to do. Now, um... Will we notice a change in your music? Mm -hmm. Will we when you start when we start here? I mean, you've got your first single um, out right now. That's definitely I emerging just, in the streets. It's, but it's, it's just about me making music that I can stand on. Like I stand on what we doing. Or, uh, yeah. You know, effing or what? I stand on that because I feel like that. Yeah. You know, and it's all about giving you a body of music. For this particular album, I'm 162 songs in, and I got to pick 18 songs for. So. 162. 162. Man, anyway, who you worked with that we will be surprised when we first hear? It won't be a surprise if I told you. Oh, <laughs> that's my ass now. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be a surprise if I told you. No, I, got, I, got, I got some people. Actually, I know it's, I know it's at least four people that people wouldn't even have to expect me to work with, but they got their own base too, and it make it, it make it a good thing. Like, for me too, I ain't never really been an industry dude. Yeah. So... That make it a little complicated for me too. Um, if I ain't servicing radio with radio records, I can kind of get lost in the shuffle a little bit because um, I don't do a lot of the red carpet events. Yeah. Now it's by choice. Mixtape game. How has I that do. been? Uh, still. Re oh. I, I reinserted myself in that game. Yeah. Um, I came in that way, so I think now, I guess basically touching on what you were saying earlier, you got to do everything now. Before you ain't have to do everything. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I was dropping albums every six months, so I was like, why well, I need to do a mixtape if I can just fly the album, like Atlantic. I got the red light over here, so I can do kind of whatever it is I want to do. So I think now I want to make sure I do everything and see what my results are. What we doing? 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 I'ma ask you straight up. Like I ain't really like trying to like be funny. But I see you on your way and get your gas money. Cause I ain't pressed on this end by no honey. Cause I don't really like need like shit from you. Told me come scoop you up and I did that. I told you I ain't with the game.